In this video, we are going to learn how you can add a shop to your WordPress website. So let's get started. As you can see, we have a website over here. This is basically a camping or resort where our users can book their vacation. And this is actually a cadence starter template that we have imported. Now, what if we want to add a shop page through which we can sell our products and merchandise? It's also possible to do. So for that, we are going to go to our dashboard. Now we are going to install a plugin called WooCommerce. So we're going to go to the plugin section and click on add new plugin. And from here, we're going to go to the popular tab and we're going to install WooCommerce. As you guys know, WooCommerce is one of the most popular e-commerce plugin for WordPress. We're simply going to click on install now. If you cannot find it, you can simply search for the plugins over here, but you won't have any issues searching for it in the popular tab. Okay, so we're going to click on activate to activate this plugin. Now, as soon as you install WooCommerce, it might launch a setup wizard. In our case, the setup wizard didn't launch, but we can still see the WooCommerce plugin added over here. If you don't see the setup wizard, what you can simply do is go to WooCommerce and click on this start customizing button. Now this will launch the setup wizard. Now the setup wizard will help you turn your website into an e-commerce store. And the first step is getting a theme. Since we already have a theme, we don't want to add another theme and we are going to skip this step, but we are going to continue the setup wizard manually. And we're going to choose this second phase, which is add your product. So we're going to click over here. Then we can choose either we want to add a physical product, a variable product, or a grouped product. Now you can also add a product just by going over here and clicking on add new product, but we are going to go through the setup wizard. So we're going to click on physical product. And from here, there will be a tutorial. So here WooCommerce will guide you how to create a product. So we're going to close it because it's really easy. First, we're going to add a product name. So let's say we want to sell a compass. We are going to add the compass name. Then we are going to add a product description. So here is our product description. Then we can set a product image from here. So we are going to click over here and we're going to access our media library. Now, when we imported our starter template, it added some images. So we are going to use these images. Okay, now we're going to click on set product image. Now we have a product image. If we scroll down, we can also set categories for our product. So just by clicking over here, we can name our category. We're going to name it camping equipment and we're going to click on add new category. And now we have a category over here. You can add as many categories as you want from here. After this, we can set a regular price to this product. So we added the regular price, $30. We can also add a sale price if we want and we can schedule the sale price from here, but we just want the regular price and we can also add what kind of product we want, simple product, group product, affiliate or external product or a variable product. So you add a variable product when you say have multiple variation of the product, for example, different colors of a shirt or different sizes of a shirt. In that case, you add a variable product. But but for our case, we just want to sell a physical product. So this is our product. Then we can go to the inventory and add an SKU number if we want. Add a GTIN, UPC, EAN or ISBN number. We can also enable the stock management. So if we enable it, we can specify how many products do we have in inventory. But for this case, we don't want that. We're going to keep it disabled. And we can also include the stock status. Either the item is in stock, out of stock or on back order. We can also limit purchases to one item per order. If you want, you can enable this. Then you can go to the shipping details, add weight, dimensions. You can also add up sales and cross sales for this product. But in that case, you need to have more products. All right. After this, we are also going to add a short description. OK, so this is our short description. And that's about it. We are going to click on publish. And that's how we can create a product. So it also congratulates us for publishing our first product. Now, if we go to WooCommerce, you can see that this step has been cut off so we have added our product now the third step is getting paid so we have to set up a payment gateway if we click on this third step it's going to take us to the payments tab and here we can set up payment so there are a couple of ways of payments you can either install woo payments for free if you click on this button it will install woo payments it is pre-integrated with some popular payment options such as visa mastercard american express discover woo pay apple pay etc so just by clicking on install woo payments and going through the steps you can set up woo payments again you can also enable 
PayPal payments. So if we click on it, it's going to say installing Woo payments will automatically activate PayPal extensions in your store. If we install Woo payments, it will actually install the PayPal payments as well. Now, in case you want to add more payment gateway, what you can do is go to WooCommerce and go to settings. And from here, if you go to payments tab, here you can use other payment methods as well. So Woo Payments is already there. If you click on install, it will be installed and you can set up your payment. You can also enable direct bank transfer. So if you enable this and if you click on finish setup, it's going to take you to this page and from here you can enable bank transfer you can add a title description instruction and then you can add account detail here we can add in an account name account number bank name routing number iban and swift code then if we click on save changes our bank transfer method will be added next you can also enable check payments or cash on delivery so let's disable bank transfer because we're not going to do that if we enable check payments and click on finish setup here we can add a title description and instruction for the check payments again if you want to enable cash on delivery what you simply do is enable this and if you click on finish setup you can just add the title description instruction then if you have created any shipping methods you can select from this drop down and finally just click on save changes and the most basic type of payment will be added which is the cash on delivery so in this way you can add these payment methods that are just included in woocommerce so now let's get back to our home and we have a payment system to collect taxes we can click over here and we can either install stripe for free or we can Go ahead with WooCommerce tax or if you want to set up taxes manually you can click over here and then it will redirect you to the tax tab of the settings option from here you can add as many rows as you want and then you can add country code state code postcodes city rate tax name priority and compound all of these you can add manually if you don't charge tax you can also select this option which is i don't charge sales tax so in that case it will cut it out then you can also add your shipping options so if we go to your shipping options you can add in your store location you can add in your store address zip code city then you can click on continue it's going to review your shipping options and then you can enable the shipping label printing and discount rates just by clicking over here but we're not going to do that we're going to click on no thanks and finally you can launch your store so if we go over here once we're ready we can click on launch your store since this is just a test site we are not actually going to launch it but you can just launch your store from here but before you do you also have to make sure that you have the shop page ready now if we visit our website we cannot see our shop page or store page anywhere it's not on our menu and we also don't know how to visit it but if we go to the dashboard and then select visit store we can see the shop page is over here and our item is also over here so what we have to do is add the shop page to our main menu so let's go ahead and go to the dashboard and we're going to go to appearance and click on menus from here we are first going to select our menu this is our main menu then we're going to click on select and this is our main menu from here you can add in your pages from the left hand side if you don't see all the pages just click on view all if you want to remove any pages you can just simply expand this and click on remove we don't want to remove any pages we just want to add our shop page so this is our shop page we're going to click on add to menu and this will be added now you can also add other pages such as my account checkout cart all these can be added so we are going to click on save menu all right now if we go to our site we can see the shop page is over here so if we click on it now we can see our shop our customers can simply click on add to cart and then they can view the cart from here and of course this page is looking weird so let's fix this design we are going to click on edit page so this is how the cart page looks like now to solve this issue we are going to add a gutenberg block called spacer we're going to click on this plus button over here and find spacer we're going to simply type in spacer here it is so we're going to place it over here and then expand this now let's click on save and let's view the page okay so this is how our page is looking but we can also see the main menu is transparent and it's not looking nice so let's also fix that we're going to go to customize now in case you don't have this problem it's okay you don't need to solve it but since we're having this transparent header issue we're going to fix it 
So uh, from here, we're going to go to the header. We're going to go to the transparent header and we're going to disable it. And now we can see the header over here. So let's click on publish. And now let's close it up. And that's it. Now we can add more products from here and we can also proceed checkout. And this is where our customers can add in their billing address, their information. And finally, when they want, they can place an order. Now, currently this design isn't looking that great. It's really easy to fix this. To do this, we're going to simply click on edit page. So from above here, we're going to choose the page settings. And from here, we're going to choose normal as the page layout. Now, if we click on save changes and then view the page, we can see the design is looking much better. This adds some spacing on the left and right. We can do the same thing for the card page as well. And after this, we are going to add the card page on top over here. So let's go to the dashboard. And we are going to go to appearance, menus. We are going to add our card page on our menu. Add to menu. And we're going to remove this contact page because it's taking up too much space. Now let's click on save menu. Now, if we visit our website, we can see the card page is over here. So in case you want to add a special section for your shop, you can do that as well. So we're just going to quickly see how you can do that because this is actually not a website building tutorial. So we're going to go over here. We're going to add a section. So from here, we're going to go over here. We're going to select row layout. From here, we're going to select this one row and we are going to add a section. So let's see if we have a proper uh, block for this. Let's add some media text. So let's grab it and drop it over here. And let's add a picture. Now we don't have an appropriate picture for our store. So let's just select this image. And then we can add some text over here. Let's add a heading text. Okay, so this is our heading text. Then we can add a button. So let's grab the button and add it below here. And we are going to add the shop button over here. Then we're going to click on save. And for the URL, we're going to grab the URL of our store page. So let's first close this up and go to our store page, our shop page. So we're going to click on edit and we're going to copy the URL of our shop page. So this is our URL. We're going to copy it. All right, then we're going to go back to our home page and then we're going to scroll down and select this shop button and add in our link. Now let's click on enter and now the button has a link and we are going to just justify the item to the left and let's just save it. Now the design isn't looking that good. It's just to show you how you can add different sections. So now when our users go over here, they can click on the shop button and it will lead them to the shop page. Now there's one more thing that we should do is add the cart icon. Now what we have done is added a cart page. Now although this is okay, but I believe adding the cart icon would be much better. So what we're going to do is click on customize once again, and we are going to go to the header builder. And what we're going to do is simply grab this cart item from this left sidebar, and we're going to drag and drop it right beside the button. So here is the cart icon. Now uh, the design isn't looking that great. So what we're going to do is click on cart over here and we can go to the design and we can add a card color. So the initial color will be white. All right, so this color is good. We're going to add this color and now we are going to head over to the general tab and we can also choose a different card icon for this, All right? So now let's click on publish. Great, so now we have a card icon. All right, now this is looking much better. So let's close our header builder. And now we have a card icon over here. Now, if you want, you can also remove the card menu items. So to do that, we're going to go to the dashboard and go to appearance and go to menus. And from here, you can remove the card menu item from here, All right? But we're not going to do that for this tutorial since it's already added, let it be there. Let's also see the single product page. So if we click on a product, it will take us to the single product page. Here we can see the image of the product. We can read the description. Here is the long description. And we can also see the category placed over here. So this is the single product page. 
Okay, so there's one final thing to do is to make this store live. As you can see here, it says store coming soon. So if we click over here, it's going to take us back to our WordPress admin dashboard. And over here, we can control our visibility. So from here, when we are ready, we can select this live and click on save changes. Now it will say your entire site is visible to everyone. As you can see, now our entire site is visible to everybody. Okay, so that is how you can add a shop page to your WordPress website and start selling products or merchandises. If you guys want to fully learn how you can create a complete e-commerce website with WordPress, we have a tutorial on that topic. We will put the link of that tutorial in the video description so you guys can learn more. So we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos on WordPress.